I'm gonna pick up here for some scrap metal from a neighbor of ours. He's gonna take his Ferguson and load this thing because that's about, he said, 500 pounds. But this is what he loaded us up with. Got some car odds and ends. So I'll be taking that to the scrap yard shortly. Scrap for Cash Army. Finished that pickup this morning. This is a Thursday morning, by the way. Good morning. Um, took off a little time off work. Needed to use up some PTO, so I'm helping with the biz today. Came out here to one of our neighbors, as I said a few minutes ago, and uh, he had a uh, man works on cars, so he has a lot of, and old cars. We're like, you know, from the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. And he had a lot of parts he needed to get rid of, a lot of rusted parts he needed to get rid of. So, um, and then he's got this big, I have no idea what that big 500 pound thing is on the back there that he had to load with his tractor. I didn't want to film him. I don't think he would have been comfortable with that. So, nice guy though. And he's got our business card, so he, when he has more, he'll call us. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna stop by the house in maybe a couple other things that are sitting there and then uh, gosh it's after 11 you know what I think I'm gonna head straight to the scrapyard one thing I do need to ask Dennis is though he gave us a uh, I think he called it a dryer but it's got some copper and so forth in it I'm not sure if that's something I my thought would be it have a compressor as well but I need to check with Dennis to see if this is something that he wants to keep so he can take it apart and get the innards out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna check with him. I think I'm gonna have to have help getting this basket out because it's a doozy. Um, but other than that, I think I'm gonna go straight to the scrapyard and get this thing dropped. See you there. I'm getting help with this as you can see. Good buddy Cameron's gonna try to get this sucker out. God help us. I had to I had to sign a waiver for him to get in there on the truck. Okay, so look at that. Pretty sweet maneuvering. <laughs> well, thank that you. was perfect. I ain't too bad. No, you made that look easy, but you know, it's all about the equipment and the skill. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna get the rest of this stuff out. I'm gonna watch it from the roof.
pretty good. on that sucker here to drop this engine in this pile oh yeah 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 just right here is good okay perfect thank you so much that's what i'm dropping guys i hold you but uh, i don't have the hat and i don't have the body strap so you've seen it before well that was uh actually much easier than i thought it was gonna be but Dennis said that's probably a couple hundred pounds. I just unstrapped it, pulled it off the back. Forgot to take the strap off, but I'll get it. Now let's go weigh in for the uh, unclean, unclean iron. Found the hat. Got it up on top now. Let's see if it's going to stay on there because I broke the clip. All right. Well, that didn't work, did it? Oh, Bob, it's one of those days. Have you really? Man, they want to be hard to get them. Coming in with their stuff all messed up, I'm telling them I can take it, can sort it, or I can argue the low, give me the lowest in the thing. Uh huh. They want to argue about that. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, this thing, I broke the clip and it doesn't want to stay on. Ah. I gotta walk very carefully. <laughs> I broke the clip. And the camera keeps falling off. Oh, does it? Yeah, so we'll see how this is gonna go. I don't have a whole lot. Um, oh, thank you. Just that little copper. Do what? Stuff, huh? Sure. You're on the do not buy list, lady. Does that look like I <laughs> stole that? Would that be even worth your time stealing? <laughs> hey, to <there's> some people. <laughs> well, you know. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> I guess. Now, had I been able to get like that plumber hat, uh, you know, that'd be tempting. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is my third truck today, Bob. I seen you out there earlier. Yes. It's just this is all Always we had non-Ferris, so it's sad, I know. But, you know, we're working on it. All right, then this is stainless here. We think it's good. We think it is. On clean sheet. On clean sheet. Oh. Jen will go have you go home with nightmares. Yeah, well. That's why I stay far away as I can. <laughs> You'll be unloading. You'll he be was up. setting up a some kind of trick for me out there. I had to go around to get around the stuff he Who had. Did? Jed uh, had a big thing of 
Oh. He had a barrel sitting I there. I had my with... yard blocked off. I say, stay off my lawn. <laughs> he did. Lawn. He's yelling at me, stay off the lawn. <laughs> oh, geez. Next thing you know, he's going to have a big here. rifle and it'll be, <laughs> get away. That feels me cool. You know? yeah, absolutely. Here. Well, that's all I got in here. So have a great weekend. Well, we didn't get to see you long enough. I'm sorry. You want me to just hang around? <laughs> Get Believe out. me, you don't Get want out. me to. No. Exactly, exactly. Get out. Then you'll be eventually be able to go home. Oh, and that's after, always a good thing. After three o'clock and the gate shut, it's always a good thing because you know that no one else can is coming in to bother you. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. I was thinking, am I going to be able to get in there before the gate shut? Yeah, but I did you're it. Three, you're fine. Yeah, I bet I always feel bad if I come in right at three. I've done that once. Don't and feel I, bad about that. I'm like, ah, I know they want to get out of here. You I know how that is. Well, you yeah, what? Everybody. I know all about you. Yeah. You guys yeah. sit around the house till four. Yeah, till we're like, three, okay. and you're like, oh, I gotta go. In the there are how can we that time it? Every day they come in at like three till five till or every day. Every day. And they have. I'm gonna give you the best glimpse I can. But I'll have to tell you, one of the clips broke. As I said inside, one of the clips broke. So I don't know how long this is gonna hold on. We'll see. Okay, that's not gonna work.
might be a little crooked. the three trucks fare today got a weigh and pay to do for you sitting out on the back patio because I'm uh, I'm done three loads grocery shopping pupsters ready to play say hi Gretchen and uh, she brought me a nice ball to throw let's take a look First load was the load that I went to the neighbors and picked up the odds and ends, and then we had to have help at the scrapyard getting that uh, top bar off that was humongous. Hang on just a second, baby. The people want to know. We had 800 pounds at 165 a net ton, paying total of 66 even. That was on, see that was Old Red, on Black Betty. We had 680 pounds of mixed iron and 160 pounds of breakage aluminum, which was the um, engine we picked up the other day, for a total of $80.10. And finally, on Sammy Hagar, we had a pound of number one copper, Two pounds of number two copper, 800 pounds of unclean iron, three pounds of stainless, 25 pounds of number two insulated copper, wire obviously, and that came to a total of 101.92. So if you add those three trucks up together, I believe we're at about 247, 246, something like that. Not the best runs in the world it would have been nice to see over a hundred dollars a truck 
but I remember not all that long ago when we first started that we were looking at $50 a truck. So, you know, prices have gone up, prices have gone down. They've uh, bounced out a little bit here recently. We're still looking at 165 a net ton, which is better than a lot of areas I'm seeing. So, uh, you know, we'll definitely take it. Let's see, today is Thursday. Like I said, I started my vacation today. Not exactly a vacation, just time off so that I can uh, do a lot of different things over the next 11 days, and this was the start of it. <clears throat> he will be going down for the Labor Day weekend to Kentucky, and you know he's gonna be scrapping. Nothing keeps him from scrapping. But uh, the hospital, that's probably the only thing that keeps him from scrapping. So he'll be down picking up whatever he can and then I would imagine whether it's down there or up here there goes all my paperwork um, he'll be going to the scrapyard on Tuesday so I'm sure you're gonna see a video coming out soon and we'll talk to you later and have a wonderful Labor Day weekend Oh.